first, my name is Kenneth Bird. My company is Crystal Edge Technology Screens using the um, Ambilight Rejection Technology Gain. I am the maker of the um, Ambilight Rejection Technology Gain uh, 12, the Exotic 15s, and the um, Advanced Ambilight Rejection uh, 17s. So, I got it. I got the projector I wanted. Um, it was a Chrissy uh, 650 or LW650. And this is a big boy vendor short throw uh, zoom projector, which I need for work really bad. And man, that price started jumping really quick. That was a crazy bid. That was a real crazy bid. It first started off at 44 and it ended with me paying around and still a good price. Oh, I was not going to spend like $10,000 for a projector. I was joking on that. No, 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 no. You should know me by now. Now, I got this projector for altogether about $502. Do you have any idea how much that projector cost? That projector is extremely expensive. That is a um, 6,500 lumen projector, sh uh, sure throw um, LCD. This is, this is a top end Christie projector. They still go for six grand. This is the one I told you about. The filter will cost you around 250 bucks, and I got it. I got it. That's the one I need for work for outside. For doing my demonstrations, that's the one I need. Man, I paid about five something for this Chrissy right here. I love Chrissy's, man. That is a beast of a projector. That thing's got firmware, and that thing's software. I can do all kinds of cool stuff with that. Multiple screens, displays, everything. I think it's going to be amazing. God bless me to get it for a good price. $500 is not bad. Consider the fact that that projector would have easily cost me an arm and a leg. Whew. I'm going to go look at these specifications on it. I was a little terrified because I didn't think I was going to be able to get it. Usually, I don't like to do bids. I can't stand doing bids. When I do bids, that means I got to fight with somebody else. I just like to just come in and buy the projector and just be done with it. And, uh, man, that was a bit of a fight right there. My limit was going to be $1,000, and that was it. So we got the Chrissy. Chrissy, Chrissy, Chrissy. I'm going to go to Projector Central and get a look at what we got here on this bad boy. Chrissy. Ooh, I looked at some of the specifications on it, but I didn't really go into it. That's 650, 650. There we go. Let me check this out. Do, 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 do. And this is what, uh, let me see. I love Chrissy's. You know me. I love freaking Chrissy's. I'm a big fan of Chrissy's. I love Chrissy projectors. Let me see. Chrissy 650. This is the Chrissy 650. The projector I just got. Come on, get that out of here. We don't need all that. Come on, I'm trying to look at that right now. That's how much that projector runs for. That's the price of that projector. This is no lens. I told you that projector is insanely expensive. I don't know who had it for that cheap on there. And like I said, every once in a while, the Lord will bless me to run into these good deals. Somebody had it up there for $44 when it first started off seven days ago. So I just basically don't put a bid in. I don't do anything. I just sit there and just watch, 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 watch. See how long it's going to take for anybody putting a bid. Somebody just didn't know it was there. This happened to me a few times. I've actually bumped into some very expensive projectors and just no one knew the projector was actually there. It was just me or another person just bidding on it. And that's what happened. I happened to bump into a bid where no one knew what was going on in that bid. And they didn't know how expensive that projector was because that projector starting up at 44 should have started jumping right from the door. That fight started kicking in right around around 10 minutes into it. People were dropping 50, 60, 90 dollars in there to try to jump the bid. But I came in there with like two, three hundred dollars. And that was it. So I was able to obtain it. I knew what that projector was worth when I saw it. When I looked at it, I was like, good God, that's like a freaking almost $7,000 projector. This is no lens. This is without the lens. This is how much that projector costs with no lens. They sell them this way. They don't sell them with the lens. The lens, on the other hand, going to cost you another extra four grand. That's how expensive these projectors are. That's the lumen count on that sucker right there. Now, this is not going to be used for inside. There's no point. You can't use something this powerful inside. 10-bit processor. This thing is amazing. Lens sold separately. See right there? Lens sold separately. 
And Lord blessed me to get that projector for around five hundred dollars. That's a huge with, with the lens. The lens comes with it. So the fellow sewed the lens with it. Now usually the extreme extreme lens shift. This is what the one over here has. Extreme lens shift. That's the one where you could throw the lens, the screen, all the way up on the ceiling, or I can bring it all the way down and hit the back of the floor with it. Man, this is going to be beautiful. This is going to be beautiful. That's why I fought for this one right here. Don't even have the lens right here. I got the lens with the lens with it because I made sure I checked to see what the lens cost. The the worst the lamps are probably going to cost me or probably around maybe two three hundred dollars for the lamps. I'm not worried about that. I'm gonna see if I can go to my wholesaler guy I do business with, see if he can get me um a couple of the lamps. I always like to replace my lamps. Projector Central. Now this projector they don't even make any. I think this projector is a uh, discontinued discontinued projector. It still goes for four thousand dollars for around that price. Let me show you what the original price for this projector was. That's the original price for that projector. This is the big boy. This one I need for work. I need this for outside for doing the big screens. And this projector is short throw. I told you anytime I throw a short throw lens on these, the prices will jump like crazy. These are all the different lenses. You can't see a clip. These are all the different lenses that I can de have detached lenses. So I can pull my lenses out, put them back in, put different lenses in. I got the ultra short throw. This is the lens I got in this baby right there. Ultra short throw zoom lens. That's what's sitting in my projector right now. Ultra short throw lens. Not a short throw. I got an ultra short throw lens sitting in that bad boy. And it's HDMI, got all the good good uh, peripherals on the back of it. Man, I fought hard for this baby boy. Whoever wanted it, boy, he was jumping that price because I came and he wanted 50 At the last minute, 10 minutes in, this dude dropped $90. And I was like, oh, my goodness. I woke up at the last minute and caught it. So I had to put 100 then put some more money on top of that. I don't like doing bids. Bids, they just did just too much. But, yeah, I'm glad I got it. So it'll be here soon. We'll get a chance to do unboxing. Or lighting this thing up in the living room, it's gonna look like it's gonna go crazy. I'm not worrying about if it can do 1080p or 4K. You see, my technology does to the simple projectors I have around here. Imagine what this thing's gonna look like when it hits one of the screens. So this time I was smart. I did uh, I did a PayPal to PayPal this time. Thank you. I did a PayPal to PayPal this time because last time I bought a projector, which was one of those up there, the 505 Chrissy right there. Um, uh, um, the guy sent me one, it was broken, it didn't even work. And then I had to um, um, fight forever to get my money back for it because I paid for it through my debit card. And when you go through debit card, you come, through PayPal to PayPal, you, you can get your money back in 10 to 30 days. But if you go through debit card, you got to do a special department through PayPal and it takes a month to 90 days to get your money back. But since I've been with PayPal for a long time, they flipped me a credit to be able to go in and buy another projector, which I bought the same projector and the other projector is still downstairs. Um, I won the case already, but a uh, fellow never replied back. I mean, why is he gonna pay for shipping on the projector? He sold the mail, it's broken. Yeah, so we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna check out, I'm gonna check out the calculation throw on this bad boy. Okay, so we're gonna calculation throw on this. Told you, it has a 235.1, this is just 1.7 Actually, does a 1.71.1. Uh, uh, I've never heard of that one before. I've heard of 235.1 to 39.1. I've never heard of that particular aspect ratio, which is interesting. So it does have a form of widescreen format. And it does come with a, the one I got has the Chris U Ultra Short Throw Zoom Lens, which is fantastic, which I need that outside. And at around 8 feet... If I pull back eight feet, I'm going to get 187 inch. Actually, sorry, it goes this way, this way. So I'll get 217 from eight feet. If I go back 217 from eight feet. Look, it's even got, it's got a wide angle lens on it. So I can actually make the lens thin. Oh man, I'm going to have a ball with this thing. Can't wait for I'm going to fire it up inside the house. This is going to be funny. So let me see. Um, if we can bring it back.
So usually max out is 18 feet, right? But you can go beyond 18 feet because when I had the um, Optima GT 5600, um, that projector, when they tell you how far you can max it out is 100 inches, that's not really true. You can go farther than that because my screen I had in the house was 126 inches and I even got it up to 140 inches and I was able to see the image crystal clear with no problem. So you can max them out. But if I bring mine back 18 feet, my, my outside in my backyard, I got about 30 feet back. So at 18 feet, I can get a screen size of 434, but I know I can max it a little farther than that. I mean, it's a short though, it's 6,500 lumens. I'm not gonna lose anything at all hitting the screen, especially with the way these screens generate off a thousand lumens. Keep in mind, a thousand lumens, one of these screens will generate. Now imagine it being hit with 6,500 lumens. Yeah, that's, that's gonna, that screen's gonna go Sorry about that, lost you guys there for a minute. So, it's a blessing, you know what I mean? I was talking about it today, and I was like, man, if God allows me to have, he allows me to have, and if he doesn't, he doesn't. You know, it's, it's up to him, and he blessed me to be able to get it. He did, he blessed me to be able to get it. So, we'll get here, we'll get a chance to fire it up, check it out. Um, whew, I think I'll hit one of the, um, what's the biggest screen we got up here we can play around with? Um, hey, we'll take it outside and just hit the 135. I mean, it's 306500 lumens. Might as well. Let me see real quick. Let me see something real quick. Let me see something. Uh, let's see if I did decide to, um, to get another lens for it. If I wanted to get another lens for this baby. I wanted to go and get a uh, lens. I don't know if I want to get a lens for it. Let's see if I'll for sure the lens. Any kind of lens will work. All right, so what's the worst? We wanna pay for a lens. Just general film lens is there, it's not mine right there. Let's see. Lens option. But they don't even have a price on it. They don't have a price on that one. I don't want the lens on it. Let's see. No image. No, there's something right there. We ain't got an image. I need to see the real price. Let's see. Picture Central. Amazon. Amazon just has the projector. The 6,500 lumens. I need to see what the lamp is like. I find out the lamps in stock. What a lens cost me if I want a lens. Let me see if I want a, uh, let's see. Zoom. Lenses. All right. That's the camera. That's definitely not going to be it. Somebody got the short though lens over here for real cheap. I'm getting the backup just in case. It's a manual. I need to print this out tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna need to print this out tonight. I'm gonna save this right here. I need to print that out tonight because I have to go. I'm gonna have to go through a manual, and I'm definitely gonna need a remote control for it because these particular projectors have hidden options, and you can't get access to those options without the remote control. So I'm gonna have to track down the original remote control for it. So this is a long throw lens. If I want to do a form of um, these are different specs. These are the lenses will run about around that price. But certain ones, the cheapest one is actually uh, the um, the um, the what do they call it lens? Good God, I'm all over here with these projectors. Mid lens. A mid lens is cheaper. A mid lens is much cheaper. That's the everyday projector that you have in everyday. But you start getting to like extended throw lenses. You start getting into uh, um, um, the short throw lenses, ultra short throw. Those are the ones that cost you a lot of money. But I'm gonna have to see. Let me see if I want to get a lamp. How much would a lamp cost me? 
I'm not buying my lamp off eBay. Last time I bought an amp off eBay, I'm get, got a, um, a lamp off eBay. It came from someplace else and it didn't even fit. So I'm just gonna have to um, buy. Okay, this is not, I don't trust that. Chrissy 650, 650. I used to buy from them and they actually have really good lamps. And this comes with the housing. So there is my lamp price. That's not bad. That's actually a really good price. Right there. So I'm going to basically swap out my lamp and get this one right here. The lamps go up to, my hours on my lamp will go up to about 4,000. Um, he said it has 1080 on it right now. So 1080 is not bad, but that's not a bad price right there. So I need to save this right here because I used to buy from them back in the day. That's not bad. I'll get an extra one of them. They got three in stock. You know, 650, that'll fit my one right there perfectly. And let's go over real quick to, uh, I don't know what that's all about. All right, and let's see. Um, LW, uh, 650. I don't think this comes in a road case. There it is right there. I don't think I have sound hooked up Hi, my name is David Haig, and I'm the Midwest Territory Sales Manager for Christie Digital Systems. Christie is unique in the projector. That's the projector right there, Scott. We have probably the broadest footprint of any projector manufacturer that's out there. We have LCD, single chip DLP, and three chip DLP projectors ranging from about 4,000 lumens all the way up to 32,500 lumens with the world's brightest three chip DLP projector. The projector that I have here with me today is our new LW650. It's 6,500 lumens WXGA resolution 1366 by 800 and it offers up to 3.3 screen heights of lens shift. So you can put this way up in the ceiling and then shift Told you. way down. This one does the same so thing. You control the screen without losing focus. It also has a similar amount of lens shift side to side up to 2.2 screen widths. So there's enormous installation flexibility. It's also very quiet at 32 dBA in the economy or the whisper mode. It comes with great installation flexibility in terms of connectivity with DVI, HDMI, as well as a variety of different analog inputs. It also has built-in closed captioning chip and can display two images on the screen simultaneously using our picture-by-picture -picture feature. So you can have one screen of video and another screen of data, for example, um, useful in a, in a lecture hall where a professor is, has a DVD playing on one side of the screen and maybe a PowerPoint or something else on the other side of the screen all at the same time. The LW650 has a wide variety of optional lenses available, starting with a super short 0.5 to 0.6 lens that can be practically right up on the screen and still one of these guys one of that. all the way up to a 9.2 long throw lens. So a projector like this can go into a conference room or an auditorium or a lecture hall or other environments where you need a big, bright, widescreen image um, with the flexibility of being able to be installed just about anywhere in the space by virtue of the amount of lens shift that's available as well as the variety of different optional lenses that are available for the LW650. Again, the LW650 is backed by Christie's three-year parts and labor warranty as well as our two-year CD exchange program. I love freaking Chrissy's, man. I love this. That's the one projector I love more than any other projector. Is that Chrissy? Yeah. All right. I'm happy. I thank my Lord for blessing me to be able to get this for that price. Like I said, you know, everybody else on eBay that had them, they wanted like um, they, a couple of people wanted like two or three thousand dollars for them. And this is with no lens, no lens at all. And they wanted three and four thousand dollars for him. And this guy, for some reason, he had it for forty-four. No one saw it. Like no one literally was bidding on it. I was like, okay, it's one of them things. I've actually, like I said, pumped, jumped into a few bids, found a few bids where nobody knew the bid was actually there, what was going on at the last minute. And I got a couple of them like that. But yeah. That's, that, that's fantastic. God is good. All right. Well, I just wanted to show you the projectors that's gonna be coming here shortly. My screen probably cut off right now. No, it's still running. Got yeah, a projector's gonna be coming here shortly, and uh, when it gets here, um, I'll do the unboxing and we'll check it out. All right, thank you all for your time. I gotta go, and God bless.